Hi, you're watching Professor Plays. This is my Death World Season 7, and I just discovered that I had deleted an oil pipe that's going to the flamethrower turrets along the wall, which is not a good thing. Uh, where was it? Here? Yeah, see, these are... They're complaining. They don't have any... They don't have any fuel. So where did I... break this? Um... Well, I'm standing next to this pipe, and there's nothing in it, so it's got to be over here somewhere. Oops. <laughs> well, I think I found it. Where are you supposed to go? How did you... How did you get oil? Where's the closest oil? There's oil there. Okay, it doesn't take much. Um... Where's that at? Right here. You are oil, you are oil, you are oil. And you are oil, and you are still oil. And you're still oil. Uh, and I'm over there. Okay, so I need to go. I need to go down here. And bring this oil over here. That was probably connected to that pipe. Uh, that wall over there, and I didn't realize it when I was moving stuff around, and I just got rid of all of them. Uh, how far down here am I going? Over. Was that it? Are you the one? What are you? It looks like you're the one. You are the one. Yes, that's what I did. I, uh, I was cleaning up and cleaned up too much stuff. So yeah, this goes down here. Eh, pretty close. Now, are you happy? Now you are happy! Yeah, now the oil's going up. And there's been some visitors, and there's more visitors. But I guess our lasers were able to take care of it. But we definitely don't want to be without flamethrowers. And I do have the targeting remote, so I can... Uh, if I think the wall is getting too many attacks, I can send them some presents. Gifts. And of course you get a you get a big attack and you're in response to that, but then the attacks diminish because there's there's no bases over there. So let's give these guys some gifts over here. And we will get a counterattack. Oops, I kinda of moved there, but I think it was okay. I think the target was good. Yeah, it's good because you can uh, you can kind of plan on having bug attacks, and then once the bug attacks are over, you can go about your business. Don't have to worry about it for a while. See, there's a counterattack, but there's. Didn't even make it to the wall. A couple spitters damaged some stuff, but the bugs did not make it to the wall. There's an artillery shell firing. Way out there. Did I not target you? Oh, those are worms. Those are not spawners. And of course it's dark again. Oh, those cliffs are nice. Kind of slows the bugs down. And why haven't you fired artillery? Are we not... Oh, there we go. Oh, you don't have any shells. Oh, I'm only requesting ten. Okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah, that's probably them there. Yeah, 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 they're on the way. Okay. Oops. Yeah, that's... That's to be expected. Okay, fine. 
So I'm glad I noticed that. I would have noticed it eventually, probably for, for a bad reason, but I'm glad I noticed that uh, there was no oil going over there. Factory's just chugging along, making signs. I'm doing research. I looked it over briefly before I started recording, and uh, it looks fine. In fact, I didn't notice the uh, science to see if there was missing a uh, missing science anywhere. It's probably space science. Um, yeah, these are all good. You can see they're all on the belts. How many space science do we have down here, if any? Well, I must, a rocket must have just launched. What do we have in the... We don't have any in the chest. Okay, so the bots are delivering them. But you can see it's unloading uh, from, a, from a recent rocket launch. So that's a thousand space science. So we're good on science. Uh, check fluid limits. Light oil is okay. Heavy oil is still low. And petroleum gas is still high. Boy, I, I don't recall having a game where I've had so much petroleum gas backing up. Normally it's all being consumed by... Uh, by plastic and sulfur. You know, that's a lot of plastic. You know, it's just cranking it out. That's a blue belt right there. And then... Uh, that's not a lot, but then that's not used for for a lot of things. It's used for, for chemical science, but they're all running. The chemical science is backed up, so we're not consuming a lot there. This factory is too efficient, I think. <laughs> I could put more labs. Um, well, I don't know if I can supply enough space science to do that. These sciences are obviously they're, they're backed up. I could have a few more labs, but uh, space science, I don't know if I can do that. I could put another uh, productivity module three in the labs. That's probably the smart thing to do. Let's do that. Give me those. Let's see, you have... You all have two. There we go. How many more do I need? <laughs> one lab. Is that right? One lab has uh, is missing a module. Okay. Why are you not running? You don't... You are not, you, you are, you are, you are missing an inserter. Why did I remove that? I'm not sure why I removed that. I guess I thought I was done with those. And I probably am close to being done with those, aren't I? Uh, let's see, how many more do I need? Just the one? Yeah, I probably just need one more. That's why I removed it. Yeah, because all these labs have got two. <laughs> just one more. Okay. That's why I did that. Give me that. I won't need any more of those. This will be... Uh, unless I add more labs. This will be... Productivity 3 in all the labs. There we go. I have 
iron mine, copper mine, you have enough copper, you have enough iron, I have coal, um, I have oil there, oil there, I have iron there, copper there, am I short on anything? What about stone? I have stone, I have stone, I just checked the refineries and I'm still, I'm not consuming the, um, Petroleum gas fast enough. Let's make these faster. Give me the upgrade planner. And let's make these faster machines. That'll make rocket fuel faster. That'll consume solid fuel faster. And the rocket fuel is needed to make rockets, so that'll get consumed. And it's dark when I'm looking in map view. Sorry about that. Let me look at... There's a copper train waiting to unload. There's two iron trains waiting to unload. These have blue belt. Those have blue belt. That looks good. I am not bringing in uranium by, by rail, but I still have over a million. Do I have another uranium mine inside the wall? Don't remember. I don't remember. Uranium mine. Uranium mine. Uh, there's a tiny one. Hardly worth it. Okay, I will probably need more. Where's the next one? Can I even see it? There's one there. 2.1 million. Um, is that it? Oh, here's one here. 3.4 million. 3.3 million. Two point one million. What else do I get down there? I get iron, I get copper, I get copper, I get coal, coal, copper, and oil. I kinda like the look of that. This is all a longer, this is all peninsula, so I could uh, move this wall uh, down here and go across there. And I would capture those resources. That would work. I'm just thinking about what I, I'm, I'm thinking about how I want to expand the. Uh, the factory. Now there's uranium there and there's uranium there. Can't see what's beyond there, but uh, uh, am I at the limit of my... Uh, I can't fire any... I can't fire any more than... Where's the... Uh, where is the artillery? It's got to be right in there somewhere. So I can't really explore with the artillery any more than where I can already see. So this look, this looks like the obvious next place to expand because I get iron, or uranium, copper, copper, coal, coal, copper, stone, and there is water there and water there. So I can go down and build a wall. Um, I don't really need. Yeah, I don't really have to worry about that stone. I can go down as far as I can go on this lake over here. Build a wall straight across, like that. So let me plan on doing that. Let's start that. Give me the, um, give me the targeting remote, and can, yeah, we can target everything. This so this is the, this is the lazy way to expand, right? You take your target, you take your targeting remote. You remove all of the inhabitants with your artillery. Then you go out and and clean up the mess. Oh, I know what I want to do. Um, after I target these, I'll show you what I want to do. So at this stage, the advanced game, I want to... You cannot be counterattacking already. 
No, this is over here. Okay. I have um, a blueprint that I used in the late game. This one. It's called Mall Logistic. And it's a mall, obviously. And it, it's designed to use logistic chests. Bots deliver. Uh, these, these the blue ones are the requester chests. So it requests the parts that it needs. Bots, uh, the logistic bots deliver the parts. And it puts the items into the passive provider chest. Again, so it's all designed for bots. It makes the uh, the big battery, the personal battery, the Mark II. It makes Mark II rubble ports, uh, shields, uh, exoskeletons, the big armor, uh, personal laser turrets, the uh, the portable fusion reactor, art the artillery, which I've already made a few, but it makes those. Rocket launcher. Uh, they make Spidertron, Spidertron remote. These are the mobile artillery, the artillery wagons that go on the train. Landmines, and these are the the combat robots. That's what's in there. You can put whatever you want in there, obviously. The requester chests need to be... Uh, if, if you change these recipes, you need to obviously change what the requester chest is requesting so that it requests the correct stuff. So give me that. Uh, it needs to be uh, in... I can do it in map view. It needs to be in the orange part, the logistic part of the, of the rubble port. So this seems like a logical place to put it down here next to the store. Uh, because it's all delivered bot delivery, it just anywhere inside the orange part is fine. You can put it like this. You know, it doesn't matter. Put it wherever you want. But let's, it kind of seems like it makes sense to, to put it like this. And yeah, let's just go over here out of the way. Yeah, right there is fine. Are oh, you going to get power? No, you won't get power. Well, we'll give it some power. Here, there you can have some power. Like that. And the bots will build that. And as soon as it's built, uh, it will start running because the requests are already in the chest. And I am making these blue chests somewhere, I think. Uh, they're in my store right here. Yeah, I see them right there. This is good if you're playing with friends, and you, that way you can all get, uh, you know, your big power armor and your exoskeletons. And if you're out doing combat and somebody dies, it's there. You can just quickly go get it. You can also, if you're doing that, uh, you can set up a requester chest kind of a death chest, and you can go request the items that you want. Uh, if you die in and then come back, you can go to that chest and just grab all the stuff quickly. So that, let that run for a while. Oh, I need some lights over here. Uh, give me some lights. I typically don't put lights in my blueprints. I figure you could put those in uh, wherever you wanted them. Oops. I kind of wrong. Go like that. There go. There's some lights. Oh, there's a tank up there. I don't need it. Uh, this also, I said, make Spider Tron. So once that's built, oh, it is built. Once that's. Uh, once that's running. Oh, and then um, you need to uh, look at the requester chests. Let me go over there. You need to look at the requester chests, uh, what's being requested, and you need to make certain those items are available in logistic chests. So let's say I want to make a Spidertron. So here's the requester chest for the Spidertron. Here's what it's requesting. So all these items need to be, be available. And when you look at there, uh, the items, you see that red background? That, I don't know, I guess it's got a dark red background. That means that item is not available in the network. So in order to make these spider trons, you need to go put these things in chests where it's in the network somewhere. So let's do that. Uh, RCU, uh, low density structures, uh, efficiency module three. Not making efficiency three. Is that what you wanted? Efficiency three. Yeah, I, I, I'm not making efficiency three. Let's make efficiency three. 
you probably need efficiency twos. Oh yeah, you need uh, red, blue, and efficiency two. Okay. How do I do it over here? Put them on a belt. I'm not going to put them on a belt. I'm just going to do it like this. Right there. And we want those. And you want those. And you want those. And you're going to put those into a chest. Um, if I had a chest, you're going to put those into a chest. I don't want a stack of those. Let's just make a few. Give me this wire. And you can run if productivity threes are less than, I don't know, 10. There. And you are running. And you need that stuff and you have that stuff. Okay, so that'll make productivity or efficiency threes. And I'm putting those into a chest, right? Ah, uh, yes. What else do I need? Ah, uh, you need steel. So I need to put steel in a chest here. I'm I I'm not putting this, this stuff in the chest. I'm just going to. Uh, I'm just going to put. I'm just going to put an inserter here. And put you into a chest. Okay. Uh, low density structures. Low density structures are made in the yellow science build. Uh, they're all, oh, they're made in the space science build as well, but we're not making any. Why not? We don't have any copper. What is going on? We don't have any copper. I didn't notice that. That's a problem. Uh, we're just using it all, probably. Okay, change of plans. Are you blue belt down to here? No. Okay, well, give me... Give me a belt upgrader. Let's put some blue belt over here. Upgrade planner. I have one already. You can go from from red belt to blue belt. Give me the blue upgrade planner. Okay, let's make this copper. Uh, you should be blue. Let's just verify that. Yeah, I don't see that that was already blue. That's already blue. Okay. You look like you are already blue. You are not. Okay, the inputs are, but the outputs are not. So I started about right there with blue belt. Let's go blue belt like that. Sorry, rapid scrolling again.
Let's make all of these blue. Okay, we'll go all the way down to there. Like that. Okay, that'll give us more copper plate, I think. We'll have to check on it later to make sure. We have room to add more furnaces, or we can put speed modules in those if we if we need to. And those are all blue belt. Um, how are we doing on copper trains? They were okay, right? We have one waiting. Well, uh, we have one unloading and one waiting. Let's see. What do we have here in the way of copper mines? We have a mine there with no train loading. Okay, there's another copper train. So we're okay, I think. I hear a cat. It's Factorio Cat. You're not loading. Are you? Are we missing a copper train? We have we have one unloading there, and we have one waiting. So there's two trains. There's two copper trains. There's a station there with no train. Are you a copper train? You're a fast train. No, you're not a copper train. Are we missing a train? There's a there's a mine with no train. There's a mine with no train. There's two copper trains in there. Oh, I guess we're not missing one. Okay. Because we have a copper train there loading. We have a train there. We have a train there. There's three copper trains, right? And we have three and we have three mines. There's one there, three load stations. There's one there. There's one there. Okay. I wonder if I should put a third or another yeah, a fourth one. Let's do another copper train and put a mine here. Give me a copy. Control C, hold on shift. I don't want that, that, I want the train, create a blueprint, goes here, okay, make that train for me please, where's the next copper mine, it is that one, okay, give me, are you, you're a copper train, give me this, give me a copy of this, You can go here. Hmm. That mine is very close, isn't it? Um. I think I can make it work. Yeah, this will be fine. And we can do this. I don't know what happened to Factorio Cat. He has gone silent. That could be good, or that could be bad. Uh-oh. Factorio Cat brought me a gift the other day. It was a live mouse in the house. He had loads of fun with that. that one though.
Okay. Let's go. Belt here. Red belt here. Like that. Let's go. Red belt here. Red belt here. And red belt here. Not a lot of room here. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, but I'd like to use a balancer. Hmm. Okay. Let's um All right, I guess I don't need a balancer. I I, I could probably squeeze one in there, but uh this is an extra mine anyway. Let's go there. There. Oops. Nope. Like that. You don't have power. Uh, give me power. Sorry, it's dark again, of course. Uh, you are there. Do you need to be there? No. You probably need to be there, though. Okay, and you are named correctly. You will be built. You will have power, I think. Uh, are you going to get power? Uh, no, you will not get power. Okay, let's give you some power. That will give you power. Okay, and... And my copper train is built. Go to automatic. And it's going somewhere. I don't know where, but it's found a station that it can go to. Are you going to be a problem? No, you're fine. And you are going to get power. Uh, yes. Okay, that will give me another copper station. Another copper mine, copper load station. Sorry. Oh, I left my... Forgot to silence this box. Okay, that looks good. You don't have... Oh, okay, you are working slowly on... Oh, that's right. Blue Belt was slow, wasn't it? It's because of lubricant. <sighs> the oil problem comes back to bite us again. Um, boy, that is just... What is going on with you, oil processing? I'm missing something. I do not see why it's not... Cooperating. What am I missing here? There's lots and lots of crude, and petroleum gas is not getting consumed, and as a result, the other oils are not being produced in sufficient volume. Um, let's reduce the cracking on heavy oil. 
Uh, can I do that? This is putting heavy to light. No, that doesn't help any. That does not help. It's running. It's just petroleum gas is not getting used fast enough. Okay, let's see. Let's let's cut down on the cracking that's cracking into petroleum gas. So this is going out. This is going out. This is going in. This is cracking light into petroleum gas. Let's cut down on the light to petroleum gas cracking. So if I take the recipe out of there, that will not generate as much petroleum gas and it will not consume as much light oil. Let's try that. I did those four. I just took the recipe out of those four. Okay, let's do two more. There, that's a pretty big change. Let's leave that like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me make a note here. Add tag. Okay. Removed. Light to petrol cracking right where I'm at unless I'm missing something in the refinery that I uh, in the uh, oil processing I don't know why the uh, the numbers are are. I don't know why the fluids are not balanced more better better than what they are. It's running. I mean, it, it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's generating uh, lots of solid fuel. It's generating rocket fuel. It's generating scads of petroleum gas. So we'll see if this. We'll see if my change there helps. Probably more efficient to run it from map view. I don't know if you like watching it from map view or not, but but I can definitely move around the map. I can move around the factory much quicker, and with with rubble ports and uh, everywhere, rubble port coverage everywhere, I can just manipulate the the uh, factory from map view, which is much much quicker. And it may be, I I realize it may be disorienting. Oh, I didn't. Uh, did I show you this? I think I recorded something, but I don't think I ever published it. So I, uh, I have finalized the steel smelting uh, design, and this is not it. Let me show you what. Let's see. I think I've got a copy of it. Smelting steel full yellow belt. Yeah. So here's what I came up with. Um, you can see how long it is. So there's the one I have in this playthrough, and look how long this one is. Okay, so I'll show you. I'll just show you the uh, the blueprint here. Smelting steel. So this is what it's called: steel full yellow belt. It looks like that, and I, I know again it's hard to see, but uh, here's my design goal here. I wanted to make this uh, a mid-game steel smelter that produced a full yellow belt of steel. And by mid-game, I did not want to use any uh, advanced modules. So in these are electric furnaces, and the electric furnaces have in them module ones. So you can produce those in mid-game. Um, it produces on the output a full yellow belt of steel. That's why it's so long. And in order to do that, um, 
I guess it's hard to see in this view, isn't it? Give me the actual blueprint here. I'll paste it into the game somewhere where the bots won't build it. Maybe we can see it then a little better. Uh, is there some place where I can paste this where, uh, where the bots won't build it? Let's go outside the rubble port. Here we go. Um, right in here we can see this, right? Right there. I'm trying to find some place without so many trees. Right there. Trees or cliffs. Too many trees or cliffs. Right, here we go, right here. Right here. This will work. You will not build. Yes, it will not get built. Okay, now I can zoom in on it. There we go. So this is what it looks like. Electric furnaces with productivity module 1s in them. Again, that's something you can get fairly early in the game. So I'll call this mid-game. Um, it, The iron ore comes in here on this belt. And you get steel on this yellow belt. And it does produce a full yellow belt of steel out here. In order to do that with, with productivity module 1s, a red belt of iron ore was not quite enough. So there's a yellow belt right here also. So you've got a red belt of iron ore and a yellow belt of iron ore. This does not need to be a full yellow belt. But this, what the purpose of this belt is, it replaces the iron ore that is used by these first few furnaces. So these first uh, eight furnaces. The iron ore that they use gets replaced by that yellow belt right there and it gets merged onto the red belt and so now this is a full red belt again and so that setup right there will produce a full yellow belt of steel look how big that is I don't, I, how many furnaces are you i don't remember it tells you in the print but we're going to do the control c thing here uh 248 furnaces electric furnaces and you get a full yellow belt now i think um, I think what I did, it's not in this print, but it may be on, online. I think what I found that worked better was to make this red, this red, these red right here. Uh, what would happen rarely is there'd be a little spot where the belt was not full and there, uh, there'd be, um, uh, if these were red, then it would get filled in completely. I don't know. That's probably nitpicky. But this, I think the blueprint that's on ProfessorPlays.com looks like this with red here. But if it isn't, make this splitter red and make this belt red make this belt red. And this this is still a yellow belt. But that's that's what it produces. So this blueprint is up there on the website, uh, ProfessorPlays.com. I'm working on the website. Uh, it does not have a certificate. If you know what a certificate is on a website... So when you go there, you get a warning. It says, oh, this site is not secure. <sighs> okay. Uh, you're not putting your credit card in there. You're not giving me any information. You're not signing up. You're just downloading blueprints. Uh, you're not going to get a virus from a factorial blueprint. Uh, but I'm not going to rant. I'm not going to rant. <laughs> I am going to pay for a certificate. Uh you know the Google, the Google will get some of my money, uh, just so it doesn't give that warning. But right now it does. When you go there, it'll tell you it's not a secure certificate any, or a, certi a secure a site because of that. So there's the there's the blueprint. It is up there right now on the website. If you want, uh, I, again I'll call this mid-game full yellow belt of steel. I don't have room to put that in this playthrough, um, uh, wherever it is won't fit in there right now so this is not a full yellow belt and the one that I just showed you won't fit but anyway um, that's good enough for now I have no idea how long I've been rambling here I'll say that's probably good enough for today uh, I, I, every, I'm very pleased with how this is how this is coming together I like this I like this factory I think I'm gonna keep playing a little bit longer here um, I don't know if I'll mega base or not mega base uh, I think you probably could say a megabase is your factory is producing a thousand science per minute uh, continuously. And so we might try that. I don't know. Let me know what you think. That's what it looks like right now. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click on that thumbs up button. I'd appreciate it very much. Take care. Have fun playing. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.